What a weekend, man. Thanks, Bryce. Awesome work. Good to see you, Bryson. See you too. Here's a mic for you. Got you. Did you sleep at all? Oh, yeah. Nice. Five hours. <laughs> really? Yeah. Nice. Heck of a weekend. I mean, you captured the attention of the golf world. <laughs> to be a part of that team, to be a part of that weekend, how, how can you put into words what just happened at the Ryder Cup? Oh, I really can't put into many words what it was like, other than the fact that, you know, we were a team. We were one. It was a lot of unity. And I couldn't be more proud of everybody there associated with uh, uh, Ryder Cup. It was pretty special and one that uh, I'll never forget for the rest of my life. Listening to Steve Stricker talk about all of you guys and then even seeing what you were sharing on social media, watching you and Brooks hug with the trophy. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, the the, the t-shirt with you and Brooks too that you posted about. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you guys good with all that, the team bonding and all of it? It, it was a fun. I mean, again, this is, this is why we won. We came together as a team and we, we played uh, the best we possibly could for our country. When you look at this course here and you see that it's going to be on the PGA Tour schedule for the next five years, you're shaking your head with enthusiasm couldn't, here. How happy are you to see yeah, that? Can't appreciate the fact that it's going to be here for another five uh, and many more to come, I'm sure. Uh, I'll tell you that this golf course suits me really well, yeah. so I'm super excited about that and uh, looking to hit some bombs out, out there every single year and give the fans what they want. The fans are a big part of it. In 2020, you won, Bryson, and there there were no fans here no. because of the pandemic. You got a, a, a big taste of it last year. Yeah. I mean, I just watched you at the Ryder Cup high-fiving people and the enthusiasm oh, yeah. that they give you. It's How huge. much did you feed off these Michigan golf fans uh, last year? A, a lot. I mean, it, you know, even though I didn't didn't play my best, it was still uh, unbelievable to feel the support and love and, and, and care from all these uh, great fans here uh, in Detroit. And, you know, this, this 313 area is something special. And obviously, 2020, I, I won. And, um, I want to get another one, one of those uh, with the fans out here. How much are you looking out here and going, I can probably shape it around the right. <laughs> are you already envisioning how you can win next year? Uh, well, I would tell you that it, you know, the golf course is the same, so I'll play the, the way I did in 2020, uh, which led me to victory, and uh, I'll be trying to do the same this, this coming year. The schedule for you was packed every single week of every single month. Yeah. Uh, coming out of the Ryder Cup, you came out here and you said you, know, you had to be here. How special is this Rocket Mortgage Classic family for you and, and this, this community here at Detroit Golf Club? They're, they're family, and I think the 313 area is, is becoming more and more family to me as well. Um, you know, This is definitely a place that uh, has caught my eye, and uh, I want to help out as much as possible around here. Appreciate the time, man. Yeah, thank you. Congrats again. Thanks.